Hi folks, it's Charles from Retro Connector here with a quick how-to video on installing the Ethernet 2 light pipe kit, which you can get from my website at retroconnector.com. It has two 3D printed black pieces of plastic connected by these six uh, fiber optic cables and uh, probably a piece of heat shrink holding it all together to keep it from going all splayed out like spaghetti. So this end is the standard end that will go in the back port of an Apple IIe. Alternately, you can get the RJ45 version, which is a smaller port cover that gives you a place to mount a panel mount RJ45 jack. So this end is the end that goes to the Ethernet 2 card. And you see the plastic here is just connected by these little tiny legs. So what you'll do actually is uh, wiggle that until it pops off of the other piece. So this flat sort of L-shaped piece just comes right off. So now you've got two pieces. The piece with the actual light pipes in it and this L-shaped retaining clip. Feed the light pipe through the port that you intend to use it with. And that should pop in place just like any of the other port covers. Pop it in place. With the port cover secured, now you just work with this end and your Ethernet card. Top corner of the Ethernet is where the LEDs reside. If you look at the end of the light pipe with the fiber optics facing you, you should have an L shape there. And that will go over the LEDs on the Ethernet card. And there is a tiny hole here on the Ethernet too, right below the LEDs. And there's a tiny pin here on the corner of the light pipe kit. It should go into that hole. Also on the edge of the Ethernet 2 card, there is a pair of notches one here and one here, and those should line up with these T-shaped bits on the light pipe. So if you can get all that lined up and pop it in place, now the fit's pretty tight, and the idea is that that helps it keep it in place. So it may take a little bit of force to push it in there. Uh, just make sure that you're not twisting because you don't want to break off these little uh, T-shaped bits. Again, it might take a little bit of force, but don't push too, too hard, lest you break off those clips for the edges. Push the pin into the hole all the way in so that it is as tight on those LEDs as it can get. So this by itself should be pretty secure, but since these fiber optics are pretty stiff, they have a life of their own, and they will tend to pop this off of the card as you're manipulating it. So this piece that you broke off earlier comes in as a little bit of extra security, and your best bet is to slide it under this T-shape here on the top edge first. So slide it under that top edge first, and then rotate it around so that it mates up with this other piece here. This will hold this end of the light pipe securely to the Ethernet card. With all that in place, you pop your Ethernet card back into its slot. And the light pipes should wind their way around anything else that you've got installed. They're fairly flexible, but again, they can be a little too stiff in some, in some instances. A little bit of hot air from a hairdryer or from uh, the lowest setting on a hot air gun will make them a little bit more pliable and flexible and easier for you to manipulate. And once you've got it in place, you should be able to fire it up and watch your blinking lights.